live in Albany. We're live in Hudson. Live in Lee, Massachusetts. It's weather where you live. We're talking about an all-snow event. Fox 23 News, your place for winter weather coverage. And so are we, John Craig, along with former BBA Touring Pro Kenny Hall. Great to have you with us as we are at Uncle Sam Lane's. And the shirts gave it away, I think, with people tuning in, Kenny. It is a junior show, the second one of our season. We got a lot of energy, as we expect, at Uncle Sam's here in Troy. Well, this is the game's future right here. And every, every time we have a junior show, it seems to get better and better. So there's no reason why this shouldn't just continue in the same format. So we will step out of the way and get right to it because we got a lot of fun. We'll do that after this on Huck Finn's Capital Region Bowling on Fox 23. Cove Lanes Family Entertainment Center in Great Barrington, Mass. is not your average bowling center. Come and hit the lanes and bowl a game on one of our 24 lanes with automatic scoring. Or maybe shoot a game of pool while watching the big game in the lounge. How about taking the kids and playing a round of mini golf on their 18 hole indoor course? Keep them occupied on the video games while you check out the pro shop for that new ball. Cove Lanes Family and Entertainment Center. Bring the family and make it a fun day. With sofas, your choice only 333 bucks. Any style, any fabric, traditional or contemporary, while they last just 333 bucks. You'll find values worth three times this price. Many are one of a kind, and they'll fly at 333 bucks. Get here early for the best selection. It's the humongous sofa blowout. Free financing and rapid home delivery. Why would you buy any place else? Bob Dobney's has moved to a new location. Now located at 385 Troy Schenectady Road in Latham. Shop our Brunswick Slate tables starting at $11.95. We sell new and used tables and all billiard supplies. Plus, we do repairs. Beautiful wood bars and stools available in cherry, oak, and chestnut finishes. Check out the bowling department with the area's largest selection of balls, bags, shoes, and supplies. Plus, darts and awards. Foosball starting at $4.95. Table tennis and poker tables starting at $169.95. At Bob Dobney's, everybody plays. Well, welcome back, Duck Fence Capital Region Bowling. Look at that, Kenny. The Irvines from the Waterville Junior Program over there joining us here for our junior show. And let's get started with our sixth grade and under and introduce you to our competitors. First, 11 year old Francis Mann Jr. from South Colony. He's averaging 68. He's out of spare time, Latham. Also, Thomas Stein, nine years old, out of East Greenbush, averaging 96 in spare time, East Greenbush. And Timothy Caulfield, eight years old from Cahoes, averaging 95. And he bowls from Sunset Rec. So, Francis, Thomas, and Timmy in our sixth grade and under junior show, sponsored by Bob Dobney's John Craig and Kenny Hall, ready to go. And let's see who we, as they exchange pleasantries, Kenny. That's the way they should. Good for them. And it looks like up first will be Timmy up here on the left lane. Eight year old Timmy from Cohoes, Kenny. Yep, Timmy using an eight pound conventional ball. Today's modern technique, there are no thumb hole, no thumb in the wall. In practice, I, yep. yeah, in practice, I saw him throw a bunch of strikes yes, that way. Yes, he did. And I think he's going to win as he, I don't know what he, where he's going. Oh, there he is, he's getting his spare ball. Uh, he might just win for best shoes of the competition. <laughs> Courtesy of Sunset <laughs> Lanes. <laughs> those are cool shoes. Hang and on, he's going to get them. Oh. All right. Good try, Tim. Timmy Caulfield, by the way, all of them will, uh, the scores will factor in with a handicap, so he's got a plus 108. Now up, Francis Mann Jr., he'll have an average of 68 and a plus 132. Here he goes. Francis going cross lane, leaving the 1 3 7. All three guys looking, uh, I say they're not nervous, Kenny, but uh, you know, you get a whole bunch of people crowding in here and around, and uh, Uncle Sam Lane's. Uh, Hopefully they're not, but uh, we've been trying to loosen them up and lighten them up a little bit. Nice deep knee bend right there, Francis. Got a shot. Got to bounce off. Oh, hey, yeah. got it. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Way to start things is Francis. That's awesome. Good spare pickup there early on. Now Thomas Stein from East Greenbush. Averaging 96 with a 108. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. All right, clean gutter to a happy gutter. That's right. 
That's okay. That's the good thing about this. We've got a lot of energy, and folks are always yes, uh, encouraging. Always focusing on a positive. I love that about parents and uh, the adult supervision that we have here. That's right. Out of spare time, East Greenbush. Fourth grader from Green Meadow School. Loves math and gym. A fingertip grip. I'm going to hook up. It's coming. It's coming, baby. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's the way you do that. By the way, we should note he's playing a little injured, Kenny. Right after he qualified, he broke four bones in his foot sledding. So he's gutting it out. He's a hockey player. Here we go. Back now to Timmy. Tim Caulfield. Come on, ball. Get up there. All right. Doing a one, two, four, seven. He's got a high game of 174 and a high triple of 400 out of Sunset Rec. Abraham Lansing, fourth grader. He likes gym class. Hang on. Yes, sir, oh. baby. Oh. Runs Pretty right down the line, Kenny. Impressive out right at the get-go. Well done. All right, Francis is going to hop up now. Better spare shoot than I'm doing right now. Out of spare time, Latham. High game of 125, high triple of 318. Gonna hit the head pin. Got out of Brooklyn. Oh, good shot. We're gonna six ten. His high triple of three eighteen did it during a Huck Finn that got him here. How many times does that happen? It Johnny? happens a, a lot. lot. You know, yeah. you rise to the occasion and you wind up on the show. First time I think we've had all of the same grade. He's also a fourth grader. He plays out of Shaker Elementary. I go cross lane. Got to hook a little. Got to catch. Got to hook. Got it. Baby. How about that? <laughs> Give it a little bit of this. <laughs> yeah, he he did. Did. Get in there. <laughs> well done for Francis, man. Six steps. Rolls out to the right. It's coming up. It's coming up. Here it comes. Even just a five and really good shot. How about that? Thomas Stein. Well done there. Much better than the first ball he threw. Calm down. Lanes three and four here in Uncle Sam. Glad to be with you here in Troy on the morning of Super Bowl Sunday, Kenny. Yeah, my team's playing golf right now, my four Packers. Yeah. So next year. They're probably watching you this morning. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. All right, buddy, hang in there. That's okay. Okay, Thomas. <laughs> All right. Big Tim smile. That's right. Timmy Caulfield, as we take a look at the score, by the way, uh, Francis is up 26 pins. Taking his time up there. Here is Timmy. Tim Caulfield. A little better shot. They're going to turn over a little bit. All right. So we like just leaving the 2 7, not too, too tough a spare. His father and brother bold, so he wanted to. His father, of course, is uh, Bill. Mother is Darlene. And he's got an older brother, Billy, who is 13 years old. Oh, good try. Good try, bud. Well done there. Now Francis hops up. As I said, out of spare time, Latham. A couple of his influences. Big coach is Jake Rivers Sr., who's here. And Junior, who uh, just set the all-time fair record. It's 866 for you guys at home. That's a lot of strikes. That is amazing. He climbed a nice, uh, did that here at Uncle Sam's, and there are nice permalanes. Yeah, place looks great, boy. What a nice facelift Tommy Walsh has done to this place. Yeah. So he also wants to thank his mom, Kelly, Kelly Brady. And he's got a sister, Kelsey Mann. Four steps. Got to hang on. It's okay. All right. Good job. Thomas Stein backing up, trying to get himself a little groove going, and he will do the best he can. Spare time, East Greenbush. Six steps. He's coming up. All Look at right. that. Giving just a two pin. Good shot. He's found himself a groove. A high game of 164. A high triple of 431. Both set at spare time. East Greenbush. Good ball right there. His parents, Angel and Michelle Stein. I'm excuse, excuse me, uh, Michael, I believe it is. Apology. Michael. Angel and Michael. Got to hook a little. Got to hook just a little. Got it. Put it down, baby. There, go. there he goes. Nice spare. <laughs> and he's got a uh, two-year-old brother, Ethan. A real small fry. That's right. Timmy now. 
right. Okay. Got a lot of wood there. Got six out of that mess. Not sure. Bad. Highlight of his bowling career, besides being here, Kenny, he made the 8 10 7. Wow. How about that? That's pretty impressive. Not going to hang. Look, it is. Good try. Getting eight. Nothing wrong with that. Eight, ten, seven. What do you think? Uh, the eight kicked a ten and then cut across, probably, huh? Yeah, you got to put it between the seven and the eight. And yeah. The eight just flopped over into the ten. All right, here is Francis now. Whoops, ball Hang on. left. Hang on, Francis. Kay. Get something, baby. Ah, good try. All right. Going through the third or fourth frame now. Glad to have you with us on a Sunday morning. Highlight for him making the show. Loves the bowl. Looking for his first big bowling accomplishment, which I think just is the fact that he is He's here on our air this exactly morning. Right. That's right. Catch a piece. Ah, get, get a good the count there for Francis. Loves to play video games. Here's Thomas now. Thomas taking six steps. He's the fingertip grip. Ten pounder. Nice roll. Nice roll, baby. Get in there. How about that? Yes, he got the yeah. <laughs> Double fist. fist That's fist right. Right there. Give it the old double fist. Easy for me to say. <laughs> I got a little excited, too. First strike of the game so far in our game. And Francis with a 17-pin lead right now after four frames. <laughs> Got to find his seat. Here's Timmy <laughs> Caulfield now. Come on, Tim. Eight-year-old fourth grader from Abraham Lansing. There you go. That a boy. Big strike. Good job, Timmy. And Paul Dumas giving him a little low five. And yes, indeed. Francis Mann up now. Whoops. Yeah, a little slip. That happens. Yeah. Nothing lost. So, certainly a different kind of atmosphere, isn't it, Kenny, than what they're used to in their junior league. They oh, go sure. out, they just do their thing on a Saturday or Sunday morning. Definitely. I think a lot of eyes on them right now. Yeah. You're out there on Saturday morning, just, you know, cracking up and having a friend, fun with your friends. It's right. definitely different, Johnny. Yeah, you got three uh, spotlights right in your face. You got a camera in a couple lanes over. Two goofy guys talking about you. That's right, wearing wacky shirts. Yeah. Hang on. All right. Take it off, Francis. Take it off, buddy. Thomas Stein back up now. Wants to mention uh, Kelly and Becky Hewitt, a couple of big influences. They, of course, had a spare time East Greenbush. Didn't like the way that came off his hand. No, he's got the, he still got a smile going, though. And his mom and dad, Angel and Michael. As I mentioned, he's uh, only a little injured, Kenny. Yeah, well, he's got four broken bones in your foot. Yeah, from sledding. He had qualified, and he decided to go celebrate by sledding the next day. And what do you got, buddy? What do you got? What's he got? Oh, good try. And eight frames in the books, and we'll take a look at the score as Francis had it lead after two, four, and six. But uh, it, now it is down to one. All right, Timmy Caulfield now. There we go. You're a good one. Get How about that? Oh! oh Another good shot. Yep. Just tough break. As I said, his father and brother were bowling, so he wanted to. His father and brother both named Bill. Mom is Darlene. That's a good shot right there, pal. That? Good shot. I was going to say, Kenny, you know, he made the 8-10-7 there. Yeah, right? That would have been the reverse of that or close to it. Not too shabby. Getting a couple of them. Francis now. Spare time Latham's product. Hook a little, just a little, hook a little. All right, it's six. Getting six pins there. Likes video games. One, I like two, it. Four, eight, yeah. I love this answer. Tell us something you, uh, people that you don't know, uh, excuse me, tell us about people, uh, excuse me, tell us something about you that people don't know. He wrote, no oh, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You got time. Don't worry, my no, really. You got plenty of time. They'll track you down. <laughs> Eleven-year-old Francis Mann, a little hopeful there early on, but uh, doing well. Timmy Caulfield, by the way, sits down with a 212 when you add in the handicap. Hook. All right. Good shot. Getting seven. 
Bowled a 104 scratch and a 212 handicap. Francis bowled a 221. So now we got Thomas Stein here. See if he can catch and take over, but looks like right now it's going to get a chance here. Sure does. Oh, oh just a wrap try. around. Good try. So there you go, our sixth grade and under kids, all fourth graders. The Battle of the Fourth Graders will tell you who did it Well, after this on Huck Finn's Capital Region Bowling on Fox 23. Just as with any sport, having the right equipment and fit makes a difference. And with over 30 years of bowling experience, Carl and Warren can fit you with the right equipment at the right price. Have a ball that just needs to be rejuvenated? Stop in and see them. They have the only on-site rejuvenating machine in the area that properly makes your ball like new. From the newest mill drill technology to the latest in ball fitting equipment, they have something to fit every type of bowler's needs. Stop in and see Carl and Warren. They're at their pro shop at the Saratoga Strike Zone Lanes, Saratoga Springs. Bob Dobney's has moved to a new location. Now located at 385 Troy Schenectady Road in Latham. Shop our Brunswick Slate tables starting at $11.95. We sell new and used tables and all billiard supplies. Plus, we do repairs. Beautiful wood bars and stools available in cherry, oak, and chestnut finishes. Check out the bowling department with the area's largest selection of balls, bags, shoes, and supplies. Plus, darts and awards. Foosball starting at $4.95. Table tennis and poker tables starting at $169.95. At Bob Dobney's, everybody plays. Oh, welcome back to Huckfin's Capital Region Bowling. And take a look as we get ready here at Uncle Sam Lanes in recapping our sixth grade and under. And you see the trophies there from Bob Dobney. Appreciate that. We'll be awarding them at the end. But sixth grade and under, here is your trophies. They go to Francis Mann with a 221, followed by Thomas Stein with a 216, and Tim Caulfield with a 212. Congratulations to all three. Now we move on to our seventh grade and no. up. And here is your class picture. 13-year-old Austin Cotton out of Fort Plain with an average of 132. Second is 13-year-old Cody Franzi from Gilderland, averaging 97. And a returner, 15-year-old Alyssa Garrison from Clifton Park, averaging 161. So Austin, Cody, and Alyssa here in our seventh grade and over, Kenny. John Craig and Kenny Hall, and they uh, will exchange some pleasantries around our friend Paul Dumas, who's keeping everybody going. And up first will be Austin Cotton, who describes himself, Kenny, as a country boy who likes to have fun. <laughs> That's a great description. Turnover. Oh, great shot. Oh, what a bad break for Austin right there. with a 4-9 out of the gate. Good he throw, bud. Is a big boy, 13 years old, a uh, eighth grader out of Fort Plain Junior Senior High School. Loves math. His home center is Iroquois Lanes, a high game of 257 and a high triple of 548. These kids are also bowling with a uh, handicap that Bob will be factoring in. Austin's got to take the pin there and a plus 68 for him. Cody hops up now. He's going to have a plus 103 off his 97 average. Got it down the middle. Oop. Big snap up there. Getting just a seven pin. His friend Austin and Jim Grant introduced him to bowling, and that's how he began. He points to a mentor of Jim Grant. Parents are Rick Jones and Christina Franzi. As we said, he's at a Farnsworth Middle School seventh grader. Farnsworth Middle School has had a lot of players on our telecast. That's for sure. You're right. Got a good program. In there, out, baby. How about Great that? Yeah, for Cody. Picking up the spare. Awesome. By the way, Cody playing a little hurt. Paul Dumas poked him in the eye before we started. <laughs> <laughs> Inadvertently, I should mention. They say there's no defense in bowling. That's right. Apparently there is. He's I saw at least five ball. bucks. Said, here, take care of the competition. <laughs> He's a listen now. Good Look at lucky. that. Oh. There's a face for a Greek church. Well, he's trying to make the... A 4-7-10 in practice. Yeah. Pretty impressive shot. Well done there. 
All right, get the word of this. Well, this is a 15-year-old from Clifton Park, a 10th grader out of Shenandoah who likes math. Right, good try. All right, like you said, if you're going to uh, do something uh, yeah. not too well, you want to do that early on yeah. as opposed to later. Cody leading night right now, by the way, uh, up 44 pins. Here's Austin. Another good shot by Austin. That up, boy, Austin. Take there that. There you go. He settled himself down. The country boy. Yes, indeed. There's nothing cotton-like about that, even though that is <laughs> just, not soft at all. <laughs> Enough puns? Just mark that down as another pun. Whoever's keeping count at home, I'm sure there's somebody. Uh. Here we go. Cody Franzi. Come on, Cody. As you said, uh, another Gotta product of Farnsworth. Hang on. Coming. Wow, that baby came back a long ways for the 4-7. Sure did. Cody may have few words, but he does love lacrosse. And actually, he's brought a pretty good sense of humor. Nice, uh, seems like a nice kid. We got a lot of quality young people on our telecast, so just, I look forward to every show. Hook a little bit. Come on. Ugh, almost. Is this an age where you want a spare ball, Kenny? You want to just teach him with the one, or what do you think? Depends on your talent level, mm -hmm. where they are. You know, you had some, some young people that 12, 13 years old, that average 180, they would need a spare ball. Right. It's more important to get your fundamentals down first, your footwork and your hand re release action. I may have spoken too soon. It's a pretty colorful ball for Alyssa here. Kick up. Yeah, that's a storm fanatic by Alyssa. Very aggressive on the back end. Good product. Even just a two pin. Alyssa Garrison, 15 years old. Qualified for the Huck Shin Finn Show two years in a row. How about that? And she's on Shen Varsity Bowling. Oh, got to hook a little. Good girl. Got a boy. Got, got a, it. Got a boy. Good shot, Alyssa. <laughs> All right, Austin back up now. Austin Cotton. Austin working on a strike. Five steps. Look good off his hand. Oh, good shot, leaving a four pin. This young man's gonna he's gonna improve really quickly. Like his game a lot. Kimberly and Sean Cotton are his parents. And Shauna Cotton, age 16, is his older sister. 14-pound fingertip grip on cross lane. No doubt. And how about that? He loves some little golf and baseball too, Kenny. Gotta like that. Golf, baseball, and bowling, my three favorite sports. Cody Franzi now up. High game of 198, a high triple of 393. Both set at Sunset, where it is his home center. He's in the father and son league, averaging 97. Got a chance. Well, Brooklyn, get over there. Good shot. Got himself some snazzy bowling shoes as well. A little red on yeah, black. Yeah, those are sharp. I like those. Even just a five fit. There's Francis Mann, by the way. The fruits of his labor. He's sitting up. He's watching the older kids. There he is. Uh, just uh, yep. the back, uh, sitting on his mom's <laughs> lap. He can't get enough. And I don't think his mom's letting him go. She's really proud. All right. A little slip on that for Cody, but that's all right. We'll move on to Alyssa. Mentioned that Alyssa, the second time she was on a show that aired December 18th last season. Wound up finishing third in the seventh grade and up. Behind Carl Evans and Tyler Hallenbeck. Nice setup. Four steps. Real good ball speed. Going to set. Oh, another good shot, even a four pin. Good balance for Alyssa at the foul line. Very important. She shot a 198 last year. 157 scratch. Good and spare, at a girl. There you go, make Good your shot. spares, right? It's indeedy. And four frames in the books, and Cody up 21 pins as his, sort of like what happened in the uh, first round here, Francis, his lead began and they kind of whittled down as the mm -hmm. other guys caught up to him. But right now, Cody has the advantage so far. Get but over. Austin. Ah. 4 7 10 for Austin Ball creeping a little high. Well, unless they're bowling in high school, high school kids bowl a ton. Mm -hmm. They bowl on Saturdays and Sundays, and they bowl three times during the week. That's a lot of bowling. Austin averaging 132 with a Saturday Junior League that he bowls in. Wasting no time. Get the wood. 
Yep, got a couple there, and he's also on the Fort Plain High team at Iroquois. As you said, just starting out again this year. Cody Franzi now. Taking his time. Good move. Nice setup by Cody. Five steps. Hang, Hang on. on. <laughs> In stereo. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and then part of the washout, the 1-2-10. Idea just to hit the head pin on the left-hand side, slide it across line into the 10 pin. And the ball will take out the two. All right. As a 13-year-old, are you th that you're always thinking you want to knock them all down, aren't sure. you? Sure. Yeah, make it. Yeah, good try. He had the right idea. Yep, exactly right. It's as if you, you gave him a nice coaching job there. Great to have you with us here on this Super Bowl Sunday morning. Big game later this afternoon, much later. But we got a big game of our own right now, Kenny. There it's big go. for all these nine participants. Well put, Johnny. Here's Alyssa. Come on, Come on ball. Get up there. That's a good one. Put How it down, that? baby. Put it down. How about that? And she builds off in two nine spares. So three, four, nine spares, and then a strike of the fifth frame, Kenny. Yep. Throwing the ball well. Austin Cotton in the back up now. Trying to thread himself a string here. Oh, nice solid shot right there. Get up, ball. Oh, good throw, leaving just a five pin. Wait, if we're just starting out, he's, he's pretty impressive. Really good balance. My guess is he uh, might have gone once or twice before he uh, yeah. got, got into a league, so maybe that's he's considering the, the league time and getting on the team as his really beginning start to his career. Mm -hmm. I have to hurry. Got it. And there you go. You're hard pressed these days, even you know when people have a, a, a winter break or a spring break and so on. Um, we're going to take a commercial break, by the way, coming after this six frame. But um, at some point, your family or your friends will take you bowling for you know a little activity. So if you really want to be technical, I'm sure he's picked up a bowling ball before this, yeah. as most kids do. You know, yep. age five or six, you go to a bowling party or something like that. But it's uh, those are more for fun. He's got his own bowling ball now, and he's taking right. it serious. So. Cody Franzi there. Good shot for Cody, leaving just a three pin. Yeah, like for example, uh, a big spare here, Johnny. Last uh, weekend, my godson had, uh, had a party uh, at uh, Sunset Rec, and he's okay. um, four years old, five okay. years old. So, important thing is to make sure they have fun. Right. If they have fun, they're going to come back. Come on, ball, push. Ah. Hang on. Most kids of that age like the slipper shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that from uh, mentoring some kids uh, in Troy. We take them, and uh, if we get through a game and a half without them deciding to go sliding about six lanes over, right. and, and then I've really made progress. <laughs> Here's Alyssa Garrison now. Building off a strike. How about that? There, big double. That'll take us to break. We'll come back and see who wins in our seventh and over. We'll do that after this on Huck Finns, Capital Region Bowling on Fox 23. Reason number 32 to go bowling! Party pandemonium! There are hundreds of reasons to go bowling, like parties. Easy on your house, your wallet, and fun for everyone. So throw a party you'll all love. Just another reason to go bowling. to a new location. Now located at 385 Troy Schenectady Road in Latham. Shop our Brunswick Slate tables starting at $11.95. We sell new and used tables and all billiard supplies. Plus, we do repairs. Beautiful wood bars and stools available in cherry, oak, and chestnut finishes. Check out the bowling department with the area's largest selection of balls, bags, shoes, and supplies. Plus, darts and awards. Foosball starting at $4.95. Table tennis and poker tables starting at $169.95. At Bob Dobney's, everybody plays. are cracking down on drinking and riding. Drive sober or get pulled over. 
Well, welcome back to Huck Finn's Capital Region Bowling. Here's Austin Cotton in the seventh. Turnover, Austin. Great shot, partner. How about that? I thought no better than that. Building off what he saw after the commercial break of Alyssa Garrison's two strikes. He gets a strike of his own for Austin. And by the way, coming out of the sixth frame, we didn't total it up. We will now. Cody with an 11-pin lead. Come on, Cody. Get it going, babe. Here he is trying to build off of that. But Alyssa breathing down his neck. Recap this, Cody Franzi, 13 years old out of Gilderland. He's a seventh grader from Farnsworth Middle School. Loves social studies, Kenny. Averaging just 97, so that's a 103 handicap. Austin, we just saw him strike out of the commercial break. He's 13 years old out of Fort Plain. He's averaging 132. This is going to turn over. How about that? Good try. Okay. Average of 132, so he gets a 68 pins. And uh, Alyssa here, Kenny, 15 years old, 10th grader out of Shenandoah, Clifton Park, averaging 161, and she is getting 39 pins. Working on a double right here. Big shot. Just good look at her setup. Very good. Nice free arm swing. Kind of groove. Great shot for Alyssa right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. First one of the day. There you go. Well done. So, building off two spares in frames three and four, and then a triple. There's Austin building off a strike of his own. Oh, get lucky. Catch a piece, Austin. Ah. First time he got a little faster with his feet right there. Mm -hmm. Even a one, three, six. Great to have you with us here on a Sunday morning at Huck Finn's Capital Region Bowling. We are at Uncle Sam Lane's in Troy. The perma lanes that uh, over the course of the last few years Tom Walsh Jr., the proprietor, has installed. Doing a great job. Much better, buddy. Good spare. Austin. Good job. Well done to pick up that spare is Austin Cotton. Here's Cody now. He's been leading since the get-go. Up 44 after 2, up 21 after 4, up 11 after 6. So it's getting a little tight around the collar, yeah. Kenny. You see, Cody, if, if when he watches his telecast, if he can just keep his eyes up, his head's going down, and that's making the ball go okay. different places. you got to keep those eyes on your target. If you watch him right here, you'll watch his eyes go down somewhere in the middle of his approach. Looks pretty good right here. And there they go. Got a chance. Got a chance. Oh, good hey. shot. Hey. That time, I guess he was looking for his spot, and he found it. Yes, indeed. All right. Alyssa Garrison working off a triple. Five, six, and seven. Got a push. Got a push. How about oh, another one? Four bagger. How about a four bagger, Kenny? Take some of that, huh? Goodness gracious. She has found her groove. And if uh, that's any indication, Shen's girls team is going to be pretty hard to Reckon with this season if Agreed. they aren't already. Agreed. Come on, Ross. All, All right. right. We're watch out. One, two, yep. eight, ten. After eight frames, by the way, Alyssa now with that four bagger up 12 pins, Kenny. Austin Cotton. Pretty yeah, light. Yeah, kicked across there for the eighth grader from Fort Plain Junior Senior High School. Cody hops up now, the seventh grader out of Farnsworth Middle, who likes social studies and home center Sunset Rec. High game of 198, high triple of 393. All right, good seven. Not bad. Highlight of his bowling career right now, bowling in his uh, league and then getting into this Huck Finn competition here. As we said, all uh, the winner of this division, by the way, gets a $300 scholarship. Now we're uh, 
Alyssa hopping up to finish off the ninth frame right now as she's taking the lead after the eight with that four bagger. She'll close the ninth here. Come on. Yeah. How about that? Yes, Five in a row, Kenny. It always happens, Kenny. We yes, got a junior does. show, and yep. somebody really rises to the occasion and, exactly right. and rivals some of the best bowlers we see week yeah, after we week. Do. Exactly right. All right, Austin, leaving a 128 or 129. Check that. 139. I'll be okay. Tenth frame now, wrapping things up here in our seventh grade and over, and then we still have our scratch division to go. Great to have you with us here on a Sunday morning. We'll have uh, two 18-year-olds and a 15-year-old in that division. Austin Cotton. All right, and he will uh, sit down with a very respectable game there, including that included a couple of strikes, a bunch of spares, and th things that he'll take to uh, work on, Kenny. Yeah, like, very good fundamentals for Austin right now. Nice. He's only going to get better. 204 there. You do like his game. Yeah, nice and solid. Good shot, Code. Cody Franzi. a boy. Here in the 10th. Cody came in and led after two frames two, four, and six as his pins began to dwindle a little bit, each time about cut in half. And then Alyssa with a big chase there. Five in a row so far. Doesn't like that. Yep, that's good. Yeah, you knew it. And so Alyssa looks like she will pull this out. Looks like we got a tie for tie for a second. Yeah, how about it? Here's Alyssa. Starts the tenth. Really on a nice roll, Kenny. How about that? That's it. That will do it. We will wrap it up and get you to the totals. We'll do that and get you to our scratch division. We'll do that after this on Fox 23. Huck Finn's Capital Region Bowling. Reason number 16 to go bowling. Four for the movies, that'll be 30 bucks. That's 28.50. This stinks. Let's go. Movie madness. There are hundreds of reasons to go bowling, like affordable entertainment you'll actually enjoy. Fun for everyone at a price that's nice. Just another reason to go bowling. Congratulations, you're getting married. You found that perfect someone. Now allow me to show you the perfect place to celebrate. Welcome to Michael's Banquet House, where I'd be delighted to professionally coordinate your reception. Hi, I'm Rick Tracy, owner and executive chef for Michael's Banquet House, where you'll find superior cuisine at reasonable rates, serviced by our friendly and experienced staff, all professionally coordinated in the privacy and elegance of Michael's Banquet House. Michael's Banquet House, the very best in special occasion dining. Owners are known to fall in love with their vehicles. Bear your feelings for Toyota with sweetheart deals. Right now, your Toyota dealer is offering heart-fluttering savings. Get 0% APR financing on a new 2013 Camry or lease a new 2013 Camry for just $199 a month and for a limited time, we'll match your down payment up to $500. Hurry in today and save on a Toyota you'll adore for years. Don't hesitate. These sweetheart deals end soon. Toyota, let's go places. The Humongous.